So you have the company that provides nutrition, giving the students nutrition information and telling them what our product is the best. They want to make money. If you look at all these companies publicly listed, these are publicly listed companies with shareholders. What is the purpose of this company? Is to increase what? Shareholder what? Value. Serve the shareholders. The public, as long make as money. we can pay our fines, make money and grow, right? If you look at all these companies, they're thinking about making it to the next quarter, right? They're always like, how can I make sure that my, my stock doesn't dump 20% in my next earnings? They're not no. selling you for love. They're selling it to you for profit. And once you understand this dynamic and you're like, you know what? Maybe this person doesn't have the best interest in mind for me. They don't give a whether they somebody else's life up as long as they're chill. The silent majority is is present, but the minority tends to be the loudest, I find is yeah. the case. That's a really good point. I also agree, like constructive criticism and even criticism as a whole, if you just why, why do you think why do you think evolution's real, bro? The way I see it, there's just evidence that Who's We've evidence? evolved, like for example, humans 200,000 years ago are fundamentally different than we've, we are now, right? So for example- But how do you, but how do you know that? How can, what, like what is the concrete proof? So I, evolution I comes seen from it Darwin, right? I'll give you this. I haven't seen it myself. So, belief. so, so it's a belief system. So it's this a belief is my system. belief system. No, yes, this is 100% okay. true. But for example, humans, there, there's been different species of humans that have like, come from different parts of the world and over time they just sort of wiped each other out and here we are and this is like at a, t a small time scale but when we talk about like millions of years like billions of years i could see that taking place at like you know just like a a million times right or like a billion times like over and over again that happening and then leading to where we are today so that's kind of how ladies I and gentlemen evolution. ladies and gentlemen part three we're going to have a debate on evolution Part three. We're going to talk about that one. Let's do it. I think we got to prep for it. I think you're going to have some good uh, perspectives on creationism, whatever your 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 belief or worldview is attached to it, I think is an interesting worldview. Because if we talk about the world and it's this idea of evolution is that everything goes from chaos to order, right? Which is everything goes from Big Bang to perfection, which is we're going into perfection. We're evolving into perfection. Whereas you start seeing how the universe works. And we are in a state of entropy, which is we go from order to chaos. Everything is in breakdown mode. Everything is dying. So it's the complete opposite of what evolution teaches, which is this idea of branching up and, and evolving to the survival of the fittest. Um, so I have a couple questions there, like the billions and trillions of years. I'm trying to figure out who was there to record that, to give me those <laughs> dates. I just don't know what they had for breakfast yesterday, let alone telling me that there's some ape walking, eating around the world three million years ago, bro, you don't even know the color of the shoes that you have in your closet. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I take it with a grain of salt as well, understanding that there that a lot of it is theoretical, but people talk about it with so much certainty, which is yeah. why I like to question it. I'm like, okay, talk about a certainty. Let's see what, let's see where we're at. But no, I think I it's like a that. topic that we got to discuss, bro. I think, I think the viewers and the, and the fans, I think would appreciate it. Cause I think there's a lot of uh, back and forth in that topic of conversation. And I think that uh, as science becomes more religious, people are going to be uh, running away from that religion and moving towards logical thinking and trains of thought that uh, are not just controlled by white coats and the people that control the white coats. I do hate that as of the last like decade, science has become a lot more political. And that's been something mm. that's kind of, it doesn't sit right. And it, it definitely makes me question a lot of the foundational beliefs that people have. And it's like, you know, that, that are rooted in data that, is extrapolated by scientists that we don't know of or that, you know, so there's definitely and, a lot. And, of and I was talking, yeah, and I was cases. talking to, I was talking to, um, somebody that, uh, has a really big, um, brand. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like a Shopify store mm -hmm. and they sell, uh, supplements. And he was talking to me how it's so easy to go to one of these universities and to pay for these studies to review your, your drug or review your supplement or your nootropic or, whatever it may be, your name it. And what is the incentive for this, this, this undergraduate, this graduate student, this professor to actually do research on your what's the, what's the incentive for them to do it? Well, it's for nothing for them. A it's lot like of them get of truth. Well, the perhaps, but. well, yeah, yeah, no. But the thing is a lot of these studies are paid for. So you fund the studies, you mm -hmm. give scholarships. For example, there was a, a lot of universities uh, that are in the veterinary medicine uh, space, 
you have Purina and all these super diabolical food companies um, in the pet space, which that's a completely different matrix. That's the pet food matrix. What do they do? They go to the universities and they say, hey, you know, we'll sponsor all the food for all your animal clinics, right? For whenever animals get sick, we'll give you all the food, but you need to let us run the nutrition course when it comes to university. So you have the company that provides nutrition, giving the students nutrition information and telling them what our product is the best. Yeah. So there's a big financial incentive attached to a lot of pharma, a big in, uh, financial incentive, uh, shareholders, stocks, all these things that they want to make money. If you look at all these companies, Pfizer, Johnson and Johnson, all these that are publicly listed, these are publicly listed companies with shareholders. What is the purpose of this company is to increase what shareholder, what value? Mm -hmm. and to increase stock value that's it that is the purpose of the company to serve the shareholders so what's the goal serve the shareholders the public as long as we can pay our fines make money and grow right and it's this is the issue that i have with the current style of capitalism i don't think this is the only format of capitalism that exists i think that there's a way to reinvent it in a more decentralized format that doesn't only think about the next quarter, right? If you look at all these companies, they're thinking about making it to the next quarter, right? They're always like, how can I make sure that my, my stock doesn't dump 20% in my yeah. next earnings? Call? Like, imagine earnings. your yeah. entire, you literally imagine your entire life is I need to make it to the next earnings and make sure that my bosses are happy or my investors are happy. Well, a lot of people that's how live most like of that. these companies, that's how most of these companies live. So when you start looking at all the products, they're not driven by love. They're not no. selling you for love they're selling it to you for profit and once you understand this dynamic and you're like you know what maybe this person doesn't have the best interest in mind for me maybe they care about themselves right maybe they'll sleep perfectly at night knowing that they don't give a whether they somebody else's life up as long as they're chill as long as they're sleeping in their nice house or in their penthouse or whatever it may be so there's a big um discrepancy like you said with the health and i agree dude over the last couple of decades, shit's been extremely politicized. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, people are starting to shun away from the religion of science and starting to use critical thinking, which is extremely important. That's so interesting how I've never thought too much about the earnings reports and how companies really are living paycheck to paycheck, you mm -hmm. know, but at a grand scale. I, guess I mean, you are, bro. If you don't, if you don't meet the insane, earnings, they'll bro. fire your ass. They'll just fire yeah. your ass. And if you have a thirty million dollar year severance, the f mean you're gonna let that go? No, you're gonna work your ass off to make sure you hit those earnings. So then it would 100%. the solution, but it's not gonna make as much money. Is to expand the time horizon that you're optimizing for, right? So thinking about mm. humans at a hundred years from now rather than now.